Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coordinator Framework Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 12. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about raw result, raw underscore array and result underscore array methods in Coordinator. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Coordinator Framework Tutorial. In our previous video session guys, if you have remembered, then we had learned about the topic something called select, update data from our controller and the model. So if I back to our model section, something called action underscore model. Inside this model, these are the things that we have studied in our last video where we had sub selected some data or by using some where condition we have selected some specific data. At that time we had seen the use of method something called result. So there are several functions basically coordinator provides to decorate to format our results what actually we got from the last video. Okay, so back to slides. Open a new tab. So we have several methods, something called row. Second, we have result, what we have used in our previous video. Next we have something called row underscore array. And the finally we have the fourth number is something called result underscore array now we are going to use all these methods one by one inside this video so back here let's say that I'm going to make a separate method for that so let's say public function get all users data this is our model function inside this function I'm going to select all the users from our table. So remember, we have made a table something called TBL users inside this table. If we if I open this table, inside this table we have four different different rows. So back to editor. Let's say that this DB select all. Next, I'm going to specify the table name. So something this DB from and the table in what we have something called users this is not a specific user this is something called tbl underscore users because in our config file inside database.php we have actually written something called db prefix so it has attached behind the scenes something called tbl underscore users now from this table let's say db and let's say get method now basically we are not going to put any where condition we are going to select all the data from our database table now from these three lines let's say that this is our query from these three lines we got the query something called select asterisk from let's say tbl users and finally we want to take the result of this query so let's say result equal to this or sorry it's something query and finally we have called result and basically return that result to our controller so save this file go to action and inside this action controller I'm going to make a method something called public function get users inside this model I'm going to copy all these three lines from get all data method pasting it here and basically what this method will do if I copy this method name go here so simply I am calling this method from action model and we are storing all the data inside this data variable and this is for the formatting PRE tag and finally we are printing all the data what we got from this method. So if I save this file back to our routes folder. Now inside this routes file I am going to make a route. So let's say that all something users and it will call the method something called get users from action controller so this is action controller and this will the method it calls so if I copy this controller name and the route name back to a browser and let's say that index.php and if I write here something called action all users passing enter now this is the data actually we are getting this is data formatting basically provided by our result method this is the method we have used basically if you go to browser now inside this data set as we can see that this is an array inside that array it is an object also a one object more object so basically it is array of objects so back to slides now re result will return something called array 
of objects. So we have understood about this result method. Back to editor. Now inside this method, I am going to convert it as something called result underscore array. If I save this file, go to browser, reload this page. Now as we can see that this is an array. Now inside this array, all the objects has been converted inside a single single array. It means that all the objects is now get converted in the format of an array. There is no object inside this array. So back to slide. Now finally, inside this result, we got the array of objects. Now these objects converted into array by using this raw underscore method, sorry result underscore method. So let's say that this is something called array of arrays. Now back to slide. So back to editor. Now I'm going to change some of the parameters inside this git all users data so that we are going to actually take a single data from our database table. Let's say that if you go to browser, inside database table, we have all the records. So let's say that we are going to get a data which has id equal to 1. So back to editor and I'm going to put where condition. So from users and finally let's say this db where inside this fair condition I'm going to put something called id and the id has value something 1. So this is the data I'm getting. Now this time this is not returning a all the data of the all users. It is returning a single row. Okay. So if I go here then query instead of this result if I comment this line and let's say that result equal to query and this time we know that actually this query returns a single data. It means that from TVL users where id equal to 1. So this is this will be the query behind the scene this has been generated. Now we are going to use called the row method. Basically row method returns only a single array. If I put something called result, save this file back to our browser, reload this page. Now we are not getting any data back to editor and this is why because we have to return from here so save this file reload this browser now as we can see this is an array inside that array only a single object we are getting because we have some where condition but remember if suppose we are getting a single object so why we are get why we are using called result we are simply use raw method so back here Reload this page and now we have only a single object of a single user data. So back to slide. Now inside this row method, basically it returns single data, but it is in format of object. Okay. Now this is return something called multiple data. So let's say multi data but this time this will be an array of objects. Now how can we use row underscore array? back to editor and simply write row underscore array. This means that we are getting an object. If I reload this page, it is converted into array format. So back to slides and let's say that this will return single data but this will be an array. So this will be an array. So if I copy this line, let's do multiple data and here I'm going to put it put it here. So all these methods we have understood about. So back to editor. So in the last video session guys we actually studied about select and update. Already we had seen about insert operation also by using active raw query. Now let's understand about the delete operation. If suppose we want to delete some specific record from this table. So how can we achieve using active raw query? So let's say that public function and I'm going to delete a specific user. So let's say delete a specific user. Now inside this method, we are going to write a query to delete a single user. So if I back to browser, go to database table. Now suppose let's say that I'm going to delete this row number 4, something which has id equal to 4. So back here, let's say that this db where inside this where I'm going to put condition so id equal to 4 we are going to delete that so this db and delete inside this delete method we have to provide the table name so let's say that users 
so behind the scene it will generate the query something called delete from tbl users where id equal to 4 so if i save this file back to controller and uh, let's make a method so something public function and let's say delete single user now inside this method I'm going to call something called this we have called action model and inside action model we have made the method something called delete specific user so back here calling this method here and let's say that finally echo and we have to return the result so let's say that return okay so go to routes file let's make a route something called delete single and inside this action controller we are using this time delete single user method so just replace with that copy this route back here and let's say that instead of all users if I put something delete single press enter it has returned one it means that one row has been deleted from this table so if I refresh this table we have only three rows now successfully we have deleted but we have an also alternative way to delete the data instead of these two lines we can convert into a single line so how can we do that so if I comment these lines let's say that this DB delete in the first parameter we will we have to pass the table name something called users in the inside the second parameter inside this array I'm going to put some condition so condition is something ID and this time let's say that row number three we are going to delete that and finally return this result so let's return format formatting save this file back to our browser now we have three rows of ID 3 this time we are going to delete this row number 3 so back here reload this page now it has returned again one value it means that we have deleted this third number record refresh this page now the record has gone so successfully guys we have seen that how can we delete data from our table either using these two lines or by using a single line where we have to put the table name as well as condition inside this delete method already we have seen inside this video about these methods so if you have any query inside this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day